Let's let them know who really got it. Came up from the bottom, now we riding in a mozzie. And these my jealous done burnt the hole in my pocket. See me, I'm shining. Yo, what's up, guys? It is your boy Bugs, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to play multiverses early, the old version. <laughs> now, if you have ever downloaded multiverses before April, you can re-download it. Even if you deleted the game, you can still re-download it and play it locally with your friends IRL. Now, there is a way to play online. Now, unfortunately for my console people, share play and remote play for my Xbox and Sony players, it does not work. So I'm sorry, you're gonna have to call some friends up to play the game if you want to, but there is an alternative for y'all. So don't worry, keep watching the video. Now for my PC players, laptop, macbook android players yeah you hear me android players your phone and tablets there is a way to play this game online and the way is through parsec parsec allows you to connect to other people pcs with devices like your your android tablets pc macs laptops to another person pc that has multiverse and allows you to connect with whatever input you have whether it's keyboard controller hit boxes game controller i'm gonna be explaining every input and how it works or how to make it work through um, Parsec. All you gotta do is go to the download, make sure you make your account. And as you can see, there's many ways you could um, download this app through Windows, the browser, MacBooks, Android, and Linux, whatever this is. <laughs> now, unfortunately for my iPhone users, I didn't find a free alternative way. Um, the best thing you could do for yourself is to look up desktop browsers and find one. If you do, let me know. But the ones that I found didn't really work. And then the best alternative paid way that you could do is download something called Shadow PC, which I'll also be explaining later in the video for um, people that want to put a fair connection between everybody. But yeah, you're able to do that on your iPhone and you're able to download, you know, browsers and apps on that. And then you could also play multiverses through it. Again, you still need to have access to multiverses. But again, if you don't have it, then you can use that PC to still connect to through Parsec to someone else's that does have multiverses. I can kind of explain that later down the line. But after you download the app, this is how it should look. Um, this is where you can share your link to people or you could just add them to where, you know, now they could just do the click of a button and try to connect to you. Obviously, you still have to accept them. So don't worry. No one can just get into your PC how you want to. And it also tells you how many people are playing so you can know like, hey, you playing some multiverses right now? Let me let me join into that, you know, play some twos and stuff. Um, but now we go straight into the best settings for Parsec uh, when running it. And then this is for Android, laptops, MacBooks, PC, everything pretty much. I'm just gonna be explaining the best settings that you should be running every time. So I'm gonna go to a client. This is when you're hosting and stuff. Uh, everything is pretty self-explanatory and kind of just like should be standard right here. The only thing you want to take off is VSync. Um, and then when it says you have to reset required, just hit the reset button here. You don't have to reset your whole PC, which I think is an amazing feature and many more apps need to do that. Um, but now let's get into the hosting um, stuff. So hosting, you want to enable that, of course, keep that on um, client um, resolution. You can keep it like this, or you could bring it down to a proper setting um, based off of your connection. Cause this is very, very strong based on your connection. And I'm going to explain that after I explain the best settings to put on. So yeah. Um, bear with me. Um, bandwidth, when you're playing 1v1s, I highly recommend 5 to 10. I don't think you need anything higher than that because the lower the um, bandwidth is, the better latency you'll get and less lag, um, like delay that people will experience during play playtime. But when you're playing like twos, when you have multiple people on your PC, I highly recommend um, 15 and 20 because they are pretty much sharing this um, MBS. They're not getting 15 to 20 MBS across the board. They're sharing five to seven MBS, you know, depending on, you know, the player. So example, you have three people in, they're sharing five MBS, they're thingy and stuff. So, and also it just looks better um, because when you have it really low, the game looks really choppy. Don't get me wrong, less input delay, but there's to the point where sometimes, again, if people connection isn't good, you can't even see the screen really. You can see it, but you can't focus really. <laughs> but yeah, um, so I highly recommend for ones, five to 10, for twos, 15 to 20. And again, if you have great connection, y'all all have good like internet, like fiber and stuff, you can play in the 25, 30s. Um, after that, uh, you will always wanna put your FPS a little bit higher than what your monitor is, no matter what, it just gives it the most uh, possible for your monitors and it's better. Um, you want to turn on eco canceling um, and discord so you don't hear each other or your yeah your people that's joining your parsec don't hear hear themselves because most likely you're gonna be in a discord call talking to each other if y'all are um, this doesn't matter you can put it on dual shock sense you can do it as you want and then quality you want it low latency again you want the best um, experience of using your controller because you don't want input delay because if there's input delay you're not gonna have a fun time and for the people that are worried that having people on their 
PCs and stuff, don't worry. There's a way where you could do approved apps and you could just have it to wear multiverses. So every time you tap out of multiverses, they can't see what you're doing. They can only see when you're on multiverses. But if you're your friends and you really don't care what, um, what they're seeing and what they're doing, then you can take it off and you know they can see everything you're doing. I also recommend putting this on. I want to say this also neglects music. So let's say if you're playing music and you have this on, they shouldn't be able to hear your music. I could be 1000% wrong. I never really tested that out again because I always just have it off. But yeah. And I think that is pretty much it. Nothing else needs to be um, contested. Um, if someone wants to do like a little more research um, on their own terms and let me know what are the best for these. But this is what I usually run um, for my um, audio and you know settings and internet and stuff. But yeah, these are the best settings. I highly recommend when you're playing Parsec through um, you know multiverses. Now, before I get into all the inputs and explaining how all they work and how to make sure everything works properly for you, let me get my tablet and phone players out the way real quick. Yes, you guys, you're able to play as you can see. Um, obviously, all you gotta do is connect your controller Bluetooth wise to your um, Android, or you can use an adapter for your controller or keyboard. Yes, you can use the keyboard. You just gotta get the adapter to it. Um, I could probably post a link or show a picture right now. You can just purchase this on Amazon, something really cheap and stuff. Um, but yeah, after that, you just connect to someone's PC and when the game loads up, you just, you know, move in like how you're supposed to and it's supposed to work. And so here you go is my picture of Broski, literally playing multiverses through his um, Android flip phone, I want to say. But yeah, now it's time to set your inputs for controllers, hitboxes, GameCube controllers, keyboards and everything. First, we're going to start off with PlayStation and Xbox controllers because they're pretty much the same. And let's get straight into it. So usually when you load into the game, it should work, right? There should be no issues. 1000% should work. Now, if you had an issue like myself with Xbox, where I just didn't want to pick up Xbox controllers for some reason, you want to go to view and go to big picture mode. And then there's two alternative ways to how to fix this. The first one is by going to the game and going to the controller symbol right here and just, in oh, okay. Well, I have to enable, I got to put on a controller. That's very embarrassing. Um, one second. Bam. All right, we got a controller plugged in today game okay bam um and then you're gonna want to make sure this is enabled once it's enabled that is pretty much it you shouldn't have to do anything else all your controls should work but if for some reason it doesn't work what you want to go do is you want to go to menu settings go to controller and you want to enable all these stuff make sure your playstation controller support is on enable all your buttons and if for some reason your xbox controls aren't working then install this xbox extended feature support driver and all your sh stuff should work same thing with generic controls say you had like a razor controller whatever type of controller just uh, make sure you type turn these stuff on if the first thing doesn't work and 95 percent sure it should work if not you might have to reset um, steam or something and try again but yeah there should be no crazy issues with normal controllers for my hitbox players my micro box players or pretty much this type of um input um it should just be a plug in and play as you can see right now i'm moving my stuff um the only thing you're gonna have to do is you know go to your settings because you know how hitboxes are oh, like look at that i didn't even know that was a all right back but yeah you want to go to your settings and then you just want to put all your stuff in um you know down up down you want to put all those stuff in and then yeah, the hitbox should work. Oh, okay. See, look, I don't know my buttons. But yeah, hitbox should work with no issues, guys. For my GameCube controller players, I'm not even going to act like I know what's going on here. But pretty much I had some friends that I know use GameCube controller. And this is the best video kind of explaining how to use it. So um, if you didn't know you could use GameCube controllers on multiverses, here you go. You should have this. Um, again, most of my GameCube controller players should have this already if they play GameCube controller on their PC. And then you gotta get the software right here. This video will explain everything, so I'm just gonna put that there for y'all to figure it out. But yeah, once you're parsecing, whether you host or not, all you gotta make sure is this is um, on, um, and that's it, and it works. And finally, the most difficult input of them all, keyboard and mouse. So, there's like three different ways that you could do this. And let's just get straight into the video. So the first one is if you are the only keyboard player, you don't, it doesn't matter if you're host or you're not host, player one will always be keyboard. No matter what, he will always be keyboard. And how you allow other players to, you know, I play controller, hitbox, game controllers to be second player is you need a daddy. And what we call a daddy is a wasted controller that you use for player one, for example. See how player one is moving on my controller and player one is also moving on keyboard. That is all it is. You just want a controller that also connects first for player one, if there's a keyboard player. After that, whoever is truly trying to play, connect their controller second, and then guess what? Bam, they are able to play as my thing takes nine years to load up and then bam, it works. 
So keyboard and mouse will always be player one and controller, GameCube, Hitbox will always be second. The second way for keyboard and mouse players is if you have multiple keyboard players, as in more than one. One to three. I don't think we got it to work with four yet, unfortunately, but this version works up to three keyboards. So what you want to do is you want to go to Multiverses and you want to go to your properties. You want to go to the launch options and you want to add in the code called slash multi keyboard. Once that is in, all you want to do is start up the game. Once you load up the game, everything should work. I also found an alternative where if you somehow, for some reason, don't both parties don't have an extra controller, then enabling, um, you know, that command can allow you just to have one controller be player two right away. As you can see, player one is keyboard and mouse. And then when I connect my controller right now, this is also, you know, player two by itself with no extra daddy controller being used. But like I also said, this is for multiple keyboard players and I have a second keyboard that I'm going to be plugging in right now, as you can see. And it's gonna log in to be in player two. Again, it doesn't matter who the host is. Um, I do recommend if you want three um keyboard players, one of the hosts has to be keyboard and mouse. But yeah, everything should work normally. As you can see, there's these are two keyboard players playing right now. Unfortunately, I do not have a third keyboard to try this out with, but I can confirm to you that we got up to three people. It should theoretically work to four people. We just probably had some issues or some weird stuff through Parsec, possibly, but yeah. And to add some more icing on the cake, I don't know why I need to prove myself, but here you go. Here's keyboard one, as you can see. Then this is keyboard two coming in. And then for controller, bam, look at that. Controller three comes in. I don't know why it came in by itself, but yeah. Bam, bam, bam. And then the final alternative, let's just say for some reason, all those first two just did not work for you for some reason. Then you could download something called a keyboard splitter, which allows you to use a keyboard as a controller. Again, you can use this on your own PC when you're hosting, when you're not hosting, and it should work. Tiffany explains it the best. No point of me re-explaining the whole video. So you could go watch their video. Also teaches you how to get the C stick. Cause I know you keyboard players had up special, down special, and all that stuff, down attack. So this allows you to also have that. And then um, this is the software. Again, that will also be linked in the bio. And that is all the inputs for Multiverse Parsec. The next thing we're gonna talk about is connection experience. From zero MS all the way up to 20 MS, I think it is at a competitive level where you can really enjoy and go against your friends and try hard and sweat as much as you want and have a great time and have a great feeling for the game from 21 uh, not 21 but you know theoretically 25 to 30 is when you're gonna feel that little that little delay nothing too crazy but that little delay where you're like mm, I, I if i was the host i would have dodged it etc and then anything after 40 ms you're truly just playing the game because you want to play the game. You don't really care for winning or losing. You just have a great time and have fun. Next, what we're going to be talking about is where you can find people to play multiverses Parsec with. Bugsy, I have no friends that want to play multiverses. Bugsy, I'm a loner. <laughs> I'm joking. But we have two spots where you can play multiverses Parsec. The first one is the Pro Core, where I'm trying to build up the hype right now because we have over 5,000 members. And, you know, over time, people are going to slowly come back because they can see that the game is coming back. And, you know, hopefully we have more people to, to play and join. As of right now, we have every region possible, NA, EU, SC. OCE, ME, Asia, awesome. And then if you having a hard time trouble finding people in this Discord, don't worry. We have an active, more a way more active Discord called Multiverses Parsec right here where anyone can join. And we have over 300 people. Right now, it's mainly NA players. There are a decent amount of actually EU and Brazil players in there, but I want to say it's five to six, maybe 10. But hey, hit them up and let them know that you're ready to parse that and you can join them there. And the final thing we're going to be talking about is Shadow PC. So for my iPhone players, listen up because this is also for you. So this is the best way to experience multiverses on a fair playing field with everyone in the group. So what this is, is literally just a PC that you technically buy. So this is money. So if you don't want to spend money, don't even worry about this part. But for my iPhone people, this is the only way that I found for you to be able to play. You know, you connect your controller to your phone and be able to play this way. But yeah, what you do is you just rent a PC and you have full access and you can download multiverses and etc. Again, you do need to be have a version of multiverses through steam and if you don't don't worry you can still download parsec through the shadow pc and join someone else's pc i'm not sure how crazy that delay is gonna be probably not too bad because you're already on the phone delay but yeah um but for my pc players regularly that want to have a fair connection or have a better experience against my west players you know if you're an na east player you want to play against west people but you know playing each other is just not fair because of the 70 50 ping difference then you could get a central pc that's in the middle between y'all and y'all both could get an average of 25 to 30 ms and it should be fun and more enjoyable for both y'all 
um and i kind of recommend it just for the fact that this game is going to be dropping within what one to two months so i wouldn't mind paying a shadow pc for the one month or maybe two months you know whatever you're seeing this video until the game releases i think it'll be an awesome time for you and your friend and again if you and your friend and multiple people that you know is going to be playing it you all chip in what is it 20 bucks 35 bucks you chip in split it between three four people that's nothing like what if it was if it's you know 20 people that's five bucks and if it's 35 then that's about what like nearly um eight nine bucks that's a steal in my opinion for a month of fun of multiverses early before the game releases and good practice before the game drops <laughs> but that is it for the video guys that is everything you need to know about multiverses parts like how to play multiverses early on multiple platforms and the uses of multiple inputs hopefully this gets answered of every question possible that you need for multiverses if you do think i missed um issues that you are dealing with make sure you comment some down below like i told you for the audio because i know people are probably going to bring up the audio issue like i said you probably just have to reset um parsec by just deleting it and re um you know uploading it and then make sure you know you go to the the audio thing right here which is that and then i also think what is it the network yeah there's network audio coding make sure it's on compress so it works and audio should be good and yeah leave a like if you like the video comment anything you know i love your comments again comment if there's any other issues that you think i missed that i need to um let people know about and it's your first time ever watching a multiverses video and you do love my content hit the subscribe button guys because you're going to be going crazy with the multiverses content this year and i'll see you later guys peace yeah, she got a man she don't really give a fuck about left him back home in a whole nother state moved to la because she want to be famous got another five on the side she a waitress but it's getting tough hard to find